Hey VCOM, I want to take just a minute to talk to you somewhat personally and candidly and I'll also add, I think I've restarted this video maybe five or six times already trying to figure out what to say. I, I want to encourage you in this moment, but I also know there is so much going on in all of your lives from job insecurity to housing insecurity, rescinded internships, canceled study abroad. Uh, it's just not what I thought, and I'm sure it's not what you thought life was going to be at this moment. One thing I wanted to tell you about was when I was in college, um, I was a senior and it just started my senior year when 9-11 happened. I was living in Chicago, so we were I'm told to get out of our dorms and we weren't sure what was going to happen. And one thing that our professors talked to us about then was the crash in 87, uh, when people had to drop out of school, that their parents couldn't afford for things and life just seemed really different. Um, for me in 2001, um, the tech bubble burst and the jobs I thought were going to be there were not. But this is different. Uh, this is not the same as 87. This is not the same as 2001. Uh, this is something that comes into all of our lives in a really different way and also has so much anxiety and uncertainty coupled with it. If there's anything I can do to help you, please reach out. Um, let me know if I can connect you to resources. I really would love to be able to do that for you. The other thing I wanted to tell you that happened in 87 and in 2001 is that a lot of people went to plan B, which is grad school. Grad school, if you are up for it, if you're healthy and you have the money, is a really great option or plan B for fall. Uh, it gives you a pause on your, your career trajectory. Uh, when you get to be the point where you're my age, I have also seen a lot of friends where the ones with the graduate degree are the ones given the promotion when other people are passed over. Uh, so if you haven't considered that already, it might be something to think about as you're trying to decide what to do if you're not quite sure uh, for fall. Uh, so once again, I really wish we could be together in person for this. Uh, let me know how I can help and support you the rest of the semester and know that I just feel so deeply for you being in this position right now. Uh, it's, it's so much is <laughs> really all I can say. Uh, so once again, I'm so sorry we can't be together and I'm wishing you the best of luck this semester and also really want to be there for you if you need help making choices um, going into fall. Thanks everybody.